lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is tia aka teacup simmer and this is our very first episode of our six in in the city let's play it is our very first story-based lp using city living from the sims 4 the new expansion pack and so if you guys did not watch the trailer to get a backstory for my city living let's play i'm gonna leave a link in the description box and somewhere in the ether of this video but to break it down the main characters of our story is this lovely lady here, Crystal Hirsch, and her sister, um, Bailey Hirsch, and they are actually twins. That wasn't something that was available for, um, for knowledge in the trailer. Technically, they weren't, they were born on the same day, and Bailey's, um, their mother had Bailey and their father had Crystal, as you can tell because she is an alien. Um, she is a Sixan, and hence the name Sixan in the city. Um, Bailey and uh, Crystal are extremely different, and I want to kind of introduce you guys to them and go through the first episode basically showing you um, what their life is like, how they're coping after the death of their father, and kind of what their personalities are kind of leading them towards. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this let's play. I've kind of been super excited about it for the past week or so. I did not know how I was going to introduce you guys to them, show you what their personalities were like, but I decided to just kind of jump in and give you everything that I have on them. So the lovely lady we are looking at right now who is sad and eating her noodles is Crystal Hirsch. And I'm just going to let her, I'm just going to let her eat. And so the basic story of the Hirsch sisters is that Bailey and Crystal Hirsch grew up with their father, Jackson Hirsch, who was an aspiring artist in the spice market in San Maishuno. They both grew up very um, loved, even though um, Bailey's mother skipped out. They don't really know why, and Jackson never really talked about it. But the girls were really happy. Their father obviously doted on them. He loved giving them what they wanted. This is their childhood bedroom. Um, they were both able to basically kind of pursue the things that they, li they, they liked and were supported by their dad. He was always extremely helpful. But, and Jackson was, like I said, an inspiring artist, but he was never um, really big on trying to make money. He just liked making art. And so he had a ton of masterpieces that he kept in the house and ended up being ones that they used to like, decorate the house. And he would sell some of his paintings, but he never tried to sell them to the point where they made an amazing amount of money. But he was always able to sell the paintings just so he could give his girls the things that they wanted. So they were never always absolutely rich, but they were never poor, poor, like to the extreme either. So like their house looks pretty nice, or at least it looks a little bit run down, except for the few things that Jackson decided to splurge on, and it looks like the girls are crying. I think someone's crying. Nope. Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I think they went to the bathroom. But there's Crystal. She's going to read, but um, they both kind of were able to pursue their dreams. Um, at an early age, Crystal realized that people didn't necessarily like aliens, and she's always been up um, for trying to be liked and trying to um, get people interested in what she's doing. She's very much a social butterfly. She wants people to like her. She wants people to be around her all the time and be interested in what she's doing. And when she realized that people don't normally like aliens, she decided to wear her disguise more often. And you guys can see that in the trailer. She like has a bad encounter with a horrible little girl and you might we might end up meeting her later in the um later in the lp because she's still in the world but um crystal decided that she would wear her disguise more often and her sister and her dad were pretty accepting of it but they still loved her regardless of whether or not she decided to look like a sam or look like a six and they loved her anyway and so both of the girls went in completely separate directions bailey here who looks absolutely sad bailey here um is the artist of the family after their father she took off took after him 
with her painting skills he she is more of into grunge though so she's very much into street art um that kind of untouched unfiltered artistic creativity that doesn't isn't doesn't really have a lot of frills she doesn't really care what people think of her she is also a little bit um I guess the best word would be like promiscuous she likes meeting people she likes dating she likes getting to know a lot of different people and that can get her into some trouble especially because she doesn't she isn't really looking to settle down she's more of a little bit of a wild card but she's very much like I don't really care what people think but she does have some ambitions she's looking to start her own um, art gallery but for murals and paintings like the type of art that she grew up around when living in the spice in the spice market and Bailey kind of took their father's death really really hard because she was she really felt close to him because of their art and so right now she is they're both both the sisters are actually trying to figure out what they're going to do because um, they were left the house after their father died and they don't really know what they're going to do with it. Um, the situation was kind of sad because they both came home after university. Bailey came back from going to a community college in San Myshuno and um, Crystal, where'd she go? I don't know where she went. Crystal! I don't know where she went, but Crystal went to um, a university and very far from home. She was very, um, very happy to go away and kind of meet new people. And they both came home to visit their father. And unfortunately, while they were visiting, he died. And so they both were given equal shares of the house or the apartment, I guess. And they don't really know what to do with it because it's kind of run down and everything's smoking, um, things break. Uh, there are mice and roaches and bugs and the only things that they're really connected to are the paintings and the area. Now Bailey doesn't really want to sell the place, she really likes it, um, but she knows that they don't really need to stay here, that she can be connected to her father in some other way, but they really don't have the money to move yet. So they're going to try and get up to about 10,000 simoleons to be able to move and kind of get into um, a better like a better way of life they might move to the apartment next door just something to get them out of the place where their father died and where they grew up because it has a lot of sad memories and speaking of crystal where did she go oh she's in the bathroom i'm gonna let her finish her business but crystal is a different story because crystal like I said, was very much into being liked and having um, Sims like her for who she is, but of course she knows that people don't normally like a um, like aliens, and so she kind of hides it. And it's one of the things that she hasn't really gotten used to about herself. She hasn't accepted about herself that her, her being an alien isn't something that should be hidden. It's something that she should accept and so she's very worried about it And she, but she wants everyone's acceptance which is a big conflict for her. She wants everyone's acceptance but she knows that there's a possibility that she won't get it based on just who she is. And so that leads to her wanting to be a politician. I think she's going to definitely try and pursue the politician career. She's always had a lot of charisma. When she wears her disguise and she doesn't feel um, scared at all, She's people like her a lot. She's very charismatic. And so she wants to become a politician just so she can be well liked and that she thinks it'll be a good place for her. But right now, they're both of the sisters are extremely sad. You can see Crystal's glowing blue because they both don't really know what to do about their father their father's death and how to handle like living in their in the apartment where they grew up because they they don't know neither of them wants to live in their father's room but and they don't really like going into the studio where he used to paint but they do need to make it livable because they both came back to visit thinking that they would they would be able to go and like maybe stay with their dad a few times and make some money and then get their own places but because they now have the expenses of the apartment to take care of, they want, they basically know that they have to live here. And if they have to live here, they want to at least make it a little bit livable. And I don't think either of them wants to live on their kid beds. So that's basically going to be our goal for the next 
episodes or two, we're going to get up to about 10,000 simoleons for the girls to try to move out. But right now, they want to at least make all of the area a little bit more livable for them. They don't, I don't really think they'd want to get rid of a lot of their, um, a lot of their childhood toys, all of the things that make this room absolutely adorable. Um, but they would need like some more beds. I think eventually they'll, someone will kind of get up the nerve. The per I think the person who feels the least sad at the end of the day or like will eventually get over their grief over their father's death the quickest will be the one to move into his room. And it looks like Crystal is the one who ends up going in there the most often to sleep and kind of reminisce. So I think she, um, she kind of cries when she goes in there. Um, but I think that's going to be kind of our indicator. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this Let's Play. I'm super excited. The girls are kind of like my pride and joy. I love them both to death. I think Bailey looks amazing and Crystal is... I've never really played with a, with an, with a six sand or an alien before and I really want to see how it goes because she really doesn't want people to know that she's an alien. So trying to navigate that is going to be interesting, seeing how Bailey deals with um, trying to kind of stretch her wings when it comes to her art but her father was also really well known in the spice market for how really great his paintings were when he would sell them so she's probably gonna have to get over that hump of selling her stuff and getting her name out there and kind of getting enough money to start her own business when it comes to selling paintings and ga and being a gallery and things like that. So let's get into it, you guys. I've been talking a lot, and if you guys want to check out that trailer again, please feel free. I spent a lot of time on that. It's one of those things that I was, like, I didn't really know how I was going to work it, but it turned out really well. So come on, come on, Chica. So I think she's going to attempt to repair it. But everyone feels super sad. So I was thinking about doing this in a cert, uh, during this Let's Play a certain way because the sisters are such like different personalities. I wanted to focus on one of them um, for each episode. So it would be I would just work with one sister and then the other sister would kind of do whatever she wants to do and we'd be able to basically tell the story that way. So like right now I think we're going to focus on Bailey because Bailey seems to be the one that one I clicked on first but where is she, who is she talking to? So she's talking to Raj Rasoya and what are they talking about? She's just chatting. But it looks like she wants to cry it out, um, finish a painting, and cloud gaze with her sister. So I think she's trying to figure out the best ways to cope, I'm pretty sure. But I think working with one of them and kind of letting the other do whatever they want to do and not controlling them will kind of give us a better idea of like their personalities and like a better idea of our story. So come on, Bailey, why are you all the way over here? And I think the only thing that we'd be able to do, like I think the only thing that I'll try to do is put Crystal in her disguise before she goes places. Why are you, where are you going? Don't chat with that crazy person. I don't know who Billy is, but she would definitely, cause she always wants to put her disguise on before she leaves the house. So that's the only thing that I would do per se is that I would try and put Crystal in her um, disguise whenever she leaves and whenever she's in the house she can take it off but other than that I don't think we'll mess with Crystal at all um, especially because I want to I want to see the differences between them and I think everything is a little bit more interesting when you see what the sims do on their own so she's going to cry it out she wants to tell an unbelievable story and finish a painting so let's go over here Okay, there we go. I can actually see. So let's, let's see, where is the frame canvas? She made another, she made a sad painting while, while she was like waiting and thinking. I think she'd make a confident painting. But she also has a job. Both of them have jobs. Both of them have skills. Like, because I said that they both went to university, like, I think, I thought, I think it would be weird if we came in with Sims who, like, 
were just kind of building themselves up and like starting like the same way we would with like a um like a legacy or something like that because this is a story and I don't think that we would just go in um willy-nilly and the girls wouldn't have skills or wouldn't have um anything <laughs> anything going for them even though they've been alive for a while they're both young adults they both went to went to college so I feel like they would both have skills and strengths and weaknesses that we could kind of capitalize on because her skills right now she is a six in painting one handiness she's a three in cooking so all of her other skills are kind of like meh because she didn't really have to do a lot of them when she was in school but she definitely focused on her painting um, same with crystal crystal has a really high charisma skill a really high cooking skill and she's pretty good at programming and I think that's one of those things that everybody um, I think that's one of those things that I want to make sure that we like make it a little bit more realistic when it comes to like sto the story wise so it looks like Crystal is feeling a lot better, which is good. She's still mourning. The morning will last for another eight hours. She wants to send a happy text. And she's feeling flirty. I wonder why. What are you watching? I think it's the movie. Yeah, she's watching a romance. But we're not going to mess with her. That's the goal. That's the goal. We're trying to make sure that we only work with one sister at a time. So she wants to meet someone new, finish a painting in cloud gaze with her sister so i think both of them would does bailey have to go does crystal have to go to work she has to go to work in 19 hours so i think they would go once she finishes this she would go down to the park and kind of meet, talk around meet some people i think getting to know someone or getting to meet some more people will kind of help them get over um not really get over but kind of ignore the fact that they they don't have a dad anymore I think it's like it was and I know when I was putting it together that I didn't really know how it was gonna go but I think the how emotional the trailer was was really was really kind of set you guys up for what the characters are gonna be like but I absolutely love Bailey she's adorable so we're going to put her in an outfit um, I think her outfits are cute. Um, let's see, what is she gonna wear? I don't think I gave her too many. I think I only gave her like one of each. Normally I make like multiple outfits for each like every day. Like I'll have multiple everyday outfits and maybe we'll do like a makeover thing while we're here, but she wants to cloud gaze with her sister. So we're gonna put, the only thing, like I said, the only thing we're gonna do is be able to put Crystal in her disguise. Let's ask her console, kind of make her feel better. Let's discuss interest because the girls are pretty close. Make friends with the landlord, meet someone new, evangelize benefits of vegetarianism. So let's tell her sister about how great being a vegetarian is. And then let's see if we can go cloud gaze with her. Can we can we go cloud gaze? Did I miss it? I feel like I missed it. More choices. Well, it looks like she wants to admire herself in the mirror. She doesn't really want to. Well, get out of this bathroom. If you don't want to see your sister naked. Well, it looks like she doesn't want to cloud gaze anymore. She wants to sell a painting, make friends with the landlord. So go ahead. Like, I don't think she'd want to touch any of her dad's paintings. So let's sell this one. Is sell to art gallery or sell to collector? I think sell to art gallery. Yeah. And I think she says, like it says, she wants to have a drink at a lounge, make friends. Like, I don't think he likes our landlord is kind of a horrible person um, but I do think that they would try and revamp this so I'm gonna do like a mini a mini revamp of the rooms and I don't know like I don't really know if I want to do that I feel like they wouldn't 
want to touch any of it. Like, I feel like they want to live there, but I don't think they'd want to touch any of the stuff that their dad helped them buy and their dad helped put together for them. But the goal is for the girls to kind of get enough money to be able to move out and kind of move on with their careers. I think Bailey would be really interested in trying to meet some more people in her career, people who, um, yeah, people who were, um, who were kind of interested in the art, in the art industry, and she doesn't really, but she doesn't really want to be with those, like, snooty people. Like, I don't think that's her deal. I don't think that's her goal at all, especially because snooty people are absolutely no fun. Okay, she's gonna take a shower. And she's gonna cry in the shower. Come on, Bailey. Well, she's feeling inspired. Or, like, confident inspired. Make friends with the landlord. What did you do? Oh no. You, you realize she's an alien. Is he mad at her? Let's check. Oh yeah, he's very angry. Let's see. Let's analyze his personality to see if he's going to stay mad. And I think she'd wipe his mind. Try to calm him down. Do you think she's has, I don't think, I don't know if she has the ability to do that. I don't, like, I've never, like I said, I've never played as a, I've never played as an alien before, so I have no idea. Is it, would it be a bad gesture? Is it mean? No. Mischief. Memory erase. There it is. Yeah, wipe his mind. Like she trying to she's trying to calm him down, so she needs to wipe his mind so that he doesn't remember that she's an alien. Did she wipe him? I don't think she wiped him. Oh no. I think she has to she has to wipe him. Because that's that's not Let's do... Oh, you can't do it anymore. I've never done that. I think they're consoling each other because his mom recently died too. So I don't think he remembers that she's an alien. Does he know? How would you figure that out? I don't really... How would you know? Acquaintances, neighbors. I have no idea. I don't know how that would work. Okay. Okay, girls. Let's go hang out somewhere outside. It's four thirty or four fifty three. So there should be. Look at it, Bailey. Come view this. I think it would make her happy. And there's someone doing music. So I think both the girls would come down and kind of try and enjoy themselves in the outdoors and in the spice market. And it looks like Crystal never actually like liked the spice market all that much. Like as you can see over there is where she was bullied by that horrible little girl. Why are you in my way? And so she's not really fond of it here. And I think her dad dying here makes it a little bit worse. So I think she'd probably be like willing to leave as quickly as possible. Bailey, on the other hand, very much likes it around here. And he's like, hi, I like your I like your crown. But yeah, I think she would be really up for playing and she, I think she likes it here. I don't think she minds being in the spice market whereas her sister um let's challenge 
Is it the new person? Let's challenge him. She doesn't really have any like hoop skills, but I think it would be really cool to see her try. Oh my god, I love her outfit. Like I I put her in this because I thought it would look cute, but <gasps> Bailey! You're so adorable! You're adorably like I don't know what it is. I feel like it's like a mix of like skater and geek. It's adorable. Go ahead. Come on, Bailey. You can do it. Oh. Yeah. You, you've never done that before. So. But where did she go? She's getting to know people. Yeah, I think in... She's always been the... Oh. She keeps... She keeps giving away that she's an alien. So let's analyze her personality. But I don't think it made her... I don't think it made the lady, like, upset in any way. Yeah, I don't think she's upset. I think she's just, like... Ambitious dance machine and good. So she's a nice lady, so I don't think she'd mind. Let's promote the cause. Come back. Come back so we can promote our cause. Ask about a career. Promote cause. See, I don't think it's going to work with this, like, only controlling one of them. Because they both have such strong personalities. Come on, Bailey. You can do it. Get better. Friendly introduction while you're shooting hoops. See, I actually like this that it gives them like other things to do besides just painting or just cooking or things like that. Shoot around. So who are you and how old are you? I don't know. I like her red hair though. Uh, for some reason all of the sims end up having this weird side bun and I need to get something to make it so that they, the game can't just take random CC that I have and plug it into the game. Like it's ridiculous how much. But aww. She, let's see, what does she want to do? She wants to send an energized text, she wants to be friendly with Crystal, and she wants to paint on an easel in a museum, at the museum. So I don't know. Maybe we'll check out the museum. I've never been to the museum around here. Um, be friendly with Crystal. So she can be friendly with her sister. And who does she want to talk to? Call someone on the phone. So who does she know? Let's chat with... Jasminder, Hajar. Well, she did say she wanted to be friends with her landlord. Maybe that'll make it easier for them to sell when they have to... But let's have her let's have her be friends with the landlord. So she's gonna call the landlord whenever she gets the chance. So how's she doing? Oh my gosh, it's that horrible chick. Saraya Bida. I think this is her mom. But she is a horrible person. She is the one that bullied um, Crystal when she was younger and so now she's all grown up an absolute pain and she looks really pretty but she's an absolute pain Matthias oh this is her brother actually this is that horrible chick's brother um, why is he upset does it say no it doesn't say why he's upset so I don't really know maybe he's just unpleasant Let's do a heartfelt compliment, empathize, brighten day, promote cause. So 
So she empathized with him, discovered Crystal. She's an alien. This guy seemed perfect. Okay, so I guess so she can't do all those alien things if she wants people not to know. But it looks like he feels a lot better now. Which is good. It means that he's like, let's debate politics. Discuss interests. So he's a little bit gloomy. So maybe, like, I don't know. They He seems pretty nice, even though he has a gloomy trait. Um, so she's just playing. Shoot hoops. Come on. Call the, call the landlord. So then you can go to the bathroom. Let's go and talk to your sister. Oh look, it's their father's paintings. This never got taken down. Oh, I feel like she'd feel so bad about it. She'd probably want to clear the table and then Yeah, and these are some of his really nice paintings. He has a lot of masterpieces that people would have paid a lot of money for in the, um, in, what's the, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting, um, the spice market. So people really knew about his paintings, about his work. So let's put this in the inventory. So she'll be able to sell her paintings, but I don't think she'd want to sell his. So. If she wants to, she can go home so she can speak to her sister. And it looks like she's having, well, she finally went home. And even with his mom gone, he is a huge party animal, apparently. Oh. Bailey, you're going to have to come fix this. And then mop it up and use the bathroom. Is there anything else that broke? Why did it do that? Why is she sleeping out here? Come on, come sleep. Over here. In your room. Like, I think if we... Can she sleep here? It's too noisy for Crystal to sleep right now. Oh! Crystal! Go tell him to, tell him to knock it off. Can Bailey do it? No, they're just too loud. Like, how do you... I want them to stop being noisy. Is there anything that I can... Bailey got common upgrade parts. We're upgrading that. She's mopping. Yeah, I think they're going to need to move at some point. Because this place is not the best place for them to kind of grow their skills and I think it has too many like dark memories it'll be sad especially if you guys can tell from the trailer that her dad died right over there so I don't think they'd be that happy with staying here Bailey can you do it can you like tell them to quit I really want them to like shut up so that they can go to sleep but I think I want to end this part here you guys oh come on okay let's repair that as well they're right about this place you'll get you'll you'll get your handiness skill up real quick okay let's just clean up so it looks like she's happy and the girl I think both of the girls yeah both of the girls have kind of like gotten none have gotten got haven't gotten over necessarily but have gotten to the point where their grief is something that they can work through and I think now that they have gotten to that point because it looks like they're both happy Nilish Gupta wants to come over and hang out he wants to hang out with Bailey Bailey are you going to be I think it, I think it started you guys Bailey like I said is a little bit promiscuous so she might end up with a bunch of different boyfriends girlfriends she might end up dating a lot of different people um, so it may be something that ends up with a lot of problems because I have no idea who this guy is. Bailey, come talk to you, your friend. Discuss interests. Let's try to calm him down. 
share ideas. Ask about career. Why are you? Sit and chat here. Why is he angry? Calm down, bro. Let's discuss color theory. And we'll try it. Well, he's he's calmed down again. Sit and chat here. So he's a stay-at-home dad. So that is why is he here, Bailey? Why is there a stay-at-home father in your apartment? This is actually a little bit worrying. Like, they could be just friends. That's also a possibility. But because of Bailey's traits, um, like, she tends to um, sleep around, be romantic, seductive, and charismatic. They love to date, just not with the same people every time. She's also a muser. She's really creative. She's a vegetarian, and she's creative. Um... Which is like different from her sister who is extremely unflirty. She is tense around flirty sims, which is also why they kind of don't get along a lot. But she's extremely ambitious and outgoing. She's very business savvy. And they're all they're both older, so they're getting up they're not like at the end of their young adult years by any means, but they're both kind of spreading their wings and trying to get established in the world before they hit their adulthood stage. But why is there a stay-at-home dad in the apartment, Bailey? Like, why? What are you trying to do? I know you look worried. You should be worried. You should not have dads who have children come over to your apartment. Like, I'm not judging if he's, especially if he's not married. I don't know if he's married. Let's check. Let's tell an engaging story. More choices. Um, let's discuss fitness techniques because he looks like he works out. Share ideas. We want to be friends with him, but let's see if he's single. Let's just see. I feel like he's he's not, which is which is something that we need to. If he's not single, Bailey, like I don't know how I feel about you going after people who are already in relationships. You just lost your father. Why would you be doing that? But I don't know. Like I said, guys, this is something that um, we're just going to see where this goes. We're going to see how their relationships play out, how their interactions go. So I'm probably going to base everything off of, um, off of their wants and needs. So she wants to paint on an easel. I think she wants to kind of expand her painting skills. She wants to be friends with her sister and she wants to hug someone. So I think she just wants comfort and get, and for everything with, um, to kind of get everything started. I think she wants to get into another chapter in her life because this chapter um, was something that she really enjoyed. She really loved her father. She really loved living here. But it's something that I don't think she can handle doing for a long time. And she wants to, like I said, she wants to get to her um, artistic creativity. She wants to go to, she wants to get in a gallery and do her rustic art and murals. And I think that's going to be one of the major ways that we're going to do painting for her. She's going to do like a lot of like sidewalk murals and paintings and stuff like that. And you need to go home. And then... There's Crystal, who is our outgoing, unflirty, like very charismatic person who wants to be a politician, but doesn't really want to show the world who she is. So we're going to see how these girls play out. We're going to get rid of the stay-at-home dad because I have no idea what he's doing here. Bro, if you're stay-at-home dad, it's late. Go home to your kids. But... So I think that's where we're going to end this part, you guys. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you please like this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you really love me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.